the toll of the road. What a high price we are paying for the privileges that motoring has given us. If you sporting motorists must have speed and thrills, go to Brooklands or other places specially laid out for those possessed of the speed bug. Many of the great racing drivers, whose lives depend upon their skill and care, have been watching the roads. We have asked Lord Howe, one of the world's finest drivers whom you are now watching on the track, to tell you some of the faults on the road which are so contributory to accidents. And here he is himself. From a long experience of driving, both at home and abroad, I can say at once that the most important point in driving at all times is the position of the car on the road. If the car is in its correct position, other traffic will be in no doubt as to what it is going to do, and no one will be inconvenienced or endangered. For instance, if the driver keeps to the crown of the road and refuses to allow faster traffic to pass, he endangers and inconveniences others. The overtaking driver may have a dart at it, thereby causing a case of cutting in or trying to pass on the near side. If the driver of the slower car would keep to the near side, no one would be endangered. To pull out, it's so easy to signal with your hand or indicator. Following traffic knows what you are going to do and acts accordingly. Watch the indicator. He signals right and then turns left and asks for trouble. Now watch this driver. He signals right in good time before he actually turns and gradually gets to the center of the road before he alters course. Similarly, if he's turning left, he signals to the following traffic may pa to pass him and is careful not to get into the center of the road. It's easy, isn't it? Driving is a whole time business, but your mind must be kept in your job. If you must do this, don't make your date with an angel in a moving car. There's a time and place for all things, and the most romantic policemen won't like this conduct. Some drivers are always in a hurry. They treat bends as straight roads and refuse to reduce speed, with this result, well over on the wrong side. They'll even try to pass on a bend where they can't see oncoming traffic. Higher speed would have involved a nasty accident. The same type of driver will pass on the brow of a hill, he can't see what's coming, yet blinds over regardless of consequences. Take a tip, don't do it. <laughs> 